What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, we made our way to the Vanished, or the Veiled House. And in this episode, Udubi is stuck walking behind us, and I don't know why. I, um, I actually just loaded my game for the first time in a while. Not, I guess, a while, but... I decided to experiment with kind of exiting out of the game and seeing if I were to load back up, if I would still be in this spot. And it seems it was a success. Although for some reason my game seems a little bit brighter than usual. Maybe it's just the fog again. So, alright. Unlike last episode where I teased you guys with this house, let's head on in. <clears throat> okay, this definitely confirms the imagery from earlier when we were talking to Kazuyo, right? There's something in front of me? Yeah. We haven't had a ghost attack us in a while while we try to get an item. I hear static. That's never good. You can obviously also see all of like the black water. I think we'll start by exploring this way. Alright, now it's starting to get a little bit darker again. Huh. So there's the, the static ETV. Anything else? Broken down doors, some tea. Any items? We can take a look. <clears throat> Ooh, some herbal medicine. Murmuring Keiji Watarai. So that's who it is. And it seems that's who we're going to be following throughout this manor, which makes sense given this is very likely his, well, manor. There's a wood box on top of a low chest of drawers. The hinge is rusted over and will not open. Okay. I'm sure we can take a look at this TV. The old television is switched on. The screen is blurred with static. I can't make anything out. Can we turn it off? It's a little loud. <laughs> Let's head on over this way. Hmm. The door is being held shut by a powerful force. Got it. Alright, so now we're effectively at the end of that hallway. Oh man. Where am I being attacked from? In front of me? Behind me? Below me! I see. Coming out of the water. Alright, these people, or these ghosts tend to be tough. Or no, no, these are the normal-ish ones, right? Yeah, so he's gonna attack us soon. We'll get a nice fatal frame in. We're on type 7 ammo. Nice. I think we're in, I think we're where I need to be right now phone is vibrating. Hopefully you guys can't hear that on the microphone. Because, unfortunately, it's on... Oh, they're attacking the movie. That's even worse. Holy cow, we're getting a lot in here in this fatal frame. How many photos was that? That was a ton. They're not dead, though. Oh, they're gonna attack again. Nice. That was a big fatal frame, too. I think they're dead now. Yeah, they're probably dead. Oh, no, they are dead. Okay, good. I was worried for a moment. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh man, you're gonna have me do that now? Okay, okay. It's exactly the same as the picture from that photo album. The photo of a bride. Did Kazuya come here because of it too? The living and the dead, bound by ceremonies of ghost, marriage. Well, that's pretty eerie. Although, interestingly enough, I remember there was that talk about ghost marriage as one of the games that those kids were playing, right? So this is where that water was and is. What else are we going to find in here? Folklorist Notes 1. There was an old notebook lying on the shelf. It's written in very elegant handwriting. 
There is a peculiar custom in this country. It varies from region to region, but the root is the same. It is mysterious, yet somehow beautiful. In order to understand it, I traveled across the country before settling on this mountain. The beauty of the morning dew, the palpable heartbreak of the sun setting behind the mountain, and the grave and solemn night that envelops it. On the mountain, water itself is revered. But why? To try and understand this, I have made this mountain my home. Not a bad attempt. Not a bad thing to do. Let's see if we can find anything interesting in here. Are there, is there anything harmful ever in drawers? That's certainly not harmful. At least to us. The ghosts, on the other hand. A household altar has been enshrined at the top of the wall. The wood in this room is blackened and gives off an odd smell. Yeah. It's probably not the healthiest for you. Dang, it is tough to see. So this is where we came in, right? Okay. Let's see here. So we can continue around this way, I guess. Oops. What was... Okay, he was like... What's down here? Is there something on the ground? Or is it just around the corner? Yeah, there we go. Got some sacred water. Take a picture! Oh, it's like an actual enemy. Yeah, but they're not a tough one, I don't think, so should be fine. Nice, decent-sized fatal frame. Oh. Nice, got quite a bit in there. Oh, you know what I was going to do? Is I was going to change the settings to make the right analog stick a little bit more sensitive for movement with uh, the camera. And potentially turn off the camera motion, because sometimes it's nice, but I feel like just the analog stick will suffice most of the time. And I end up at these awkward, skewed angles sometimes because of the motion. Yep, you're toast. Let's get that nice, fatal glance. Success. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that door is where we need to go. So naturally, we're gonna head back over here. I wonder if it's just like a like a filter or whatnot. That things seem kind of grainy. We can go upstairs. Oh, do I want to go upstairs or do I want to explore that door first? Eh, let's do the door. Let's see what we can find. We probably can't actually open it. Oh, we can! Um, alright, we're getting attacked. Oh, or rather, Rui is getting attacked. We'll get some good damage in. We're able to get a ton of shots in here. Look at this. Sorry, Rui, getting awfully up close and personal. Where's the ghost? There they are. I wonder if Rui has, like, a health bar or something. Because we haven't really dealt with that much, have we? Come on. I'm right here. Running out of hallway to back up in, though. There's the attack. All right, yeah, you're you're big time toast. What's funny is I was running by this door with the intent of seeing if I could actually open it or not, and the whole time, as I'm doing so, the ghost is just like sitting there waiting to ambush. Do we some purifying embers? Okay. Anything else? There's probably it seems like there's something down over here. Some sacred water. Okay. Anything else? Portraits of the deceased line the lin hmm, deceased line. Oh <laughs> I was having a difficult time <laughs> with the uh, the syntax, those funny. Portraits of the deceased lie in the lintel. The dampness is black in the photos, making it hard to make out the faces. Anything else of interest? This looks fairly interesting. There are two memorial tablets and a Buddha statue on the altar. Okay. A scroll hangs in the alcove. The surface is too tattered for me to see what was on it. 
Alright. Can we go through here? The door is being held shut by a powerful force. We were just on the other side of this, weren't we? I think so. Did we go upstairs or not? No, we didn't, I don't think. Alright, well, we'll keep venturing around then. See what we find. Although this leads upstairs. There are a couple things. The photo is calling to me. What's kind of interesting is this might... This might be a harbinger of what, you know, the future is going to be like for Ren as he continues to get more and more fixed on the photos himself. Oh, before I forget. Can I go to the settings here? No, I can't. I have to do it from the main menu? Aw, oh, man. That's a little quality of life improvement that I think could have been done. Folklorist notes three. We missed two. There was an old notebook on the bookshelf. It seems to be about postmortem photography. Postmortem photography made its way over from the west along with the spread of the camera. When photography was still rare, images of the deceased helped the surviving family members deal with their grief. The postmortem photographs that still exist in Japan use the same methodology as their western counterparts, but the significance seemed to differ. Those taken here in the Mount Hikami region, especially, seem to embody a certain melancholic beauty. I believe these photos are, were the work of a scientist named Kunihiko Aso. Having researched photos from other areas as well, it seems he was the one behind many of them. His surviving records indicate a determination to use photography to capture the soul. Seeing these strange and captivating photographs, I've come to believe he had some degree of success in doing so. And seeing how the photo really captivated you in the end, seems uh, they were incredibly successful. An old friend of mine used to call cameras lonely boxes. I'm not sure if he meant that the subject appears trapped alone in this dark box when viewed through the viewfinder, or that looking through the viewfinder meant peering out through the dark all alone. At any rate, I find those words have a certain resonance. Ooh, that's pretty deep. I like that actually quite a bit. What are we gonna find in here? The Union. Probably the... Huh. From the moment I let her in, the Union was already complete. I must go. I can't just keep waiting until it's too late, even if I risk room. Too late for what? Huh. That's interesting. What? Caught me off guard, I guess. What's also kind of interesting is I don't think up until this point we've had a ghost attack us while we were taking a key item. There's an old notebook on the bookshelf. It seems to be about death on the mountain. The waters of this mountain are beautiful. A large volume of water flows from a lake at the summit, becoming rivers and waterfalls and er, enveloping the mountain in mist. Water covers everything. It is the source of this mountain's beauty as well as its sense of mystery. According to local tradition, Mount Hikami is where one could die a proper death. It has long been considered a spiritual spot and the subject of much worship, making it a righteous destination for those seeking death. The Mount Hikami sect taught that, upon dying, people return to water. Here on the mountain, water is considered the source of the soul. A person's soul is then said to return to water upon death, rather than moving on to an afterlife. Those ready for death would gather at the mountain and return their lives to the water. Water connects everything. To look at this scenery, I can understand how it has become a spiritual place. A place fit for passing from this world. I'm glad I came here. The people on this mountain have a yearning for death. That is to say, they have a yearning for water and a yearning for nature. Life and death are both connected to water. There was a cassette tape with the notepad. The label has been left blank. KG's cassette too. Can we listen to it? These are tokens. Um, collection. These are the messy notes. Maybe it's under notes. KG's cassette two. Yeah. 
Well, that's pretty dark, but interesting. So a lot of the things that, I guess I should actually show you guys the note from a tent, because I found this when I was uh, replaying that other chapter. Uh, you basically, in the unfathomable forest, wander into this tent and find this note here. How long have I been here? I suppose it doesn't matter. I'm glad I decided to do things right and come here to die. This place feels right. I thought I might get lonely, but there are people here, people who aren't alive. This place may be as strange as people say. I heard children playing just now. I tried to get a look at them, but they ran off before I could get close. Did they come here on their own, or were they left here? Earlier I heard the sound of raspy breathing and running. After that I heard a scream. I was scared and held my breath. I'm not scared of death, but that was terrifying. I saw a woman dressed in white today. She was draped in cloth, so I couldn't see her face. She seemed to stare at me for a while, then left. Which side is she on, I wonder? Will she be back? I saw her again. She turns up every day, watching me. I feel her gaze, but not her presence. As soon as I noticed her, she, or as soon as I notice her, she disappears. She must be constantly watching me. I heard a voice, a mournful voice, like screaming. No, like singing. It was a call of some kind, but not for me. Not yet. My time is yet to come. Everything I brought with me is gone. Now I have nothing. I like it here. Nothing matters now. This was the right choice. I'm glad I came. She will come soon. She will take me away. She is calling. I must go. Pretty creepy, right? Pretty creepy, right? I thought that was really neat when I saw that. I was kind of bummed that I didn't actually experience it for the first time while uh, recording. So I'm actually going to go back real quick. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything by going up that set of stairs, like right by the beginning of the area. I, I just don't remember exactly which set of stairs I came up. Because I think I just continued to explore by the phone, right? Yeah. So I wanted to before I continue because it seems like we're making some really good progress in terms of the story. If there was anything up here worth exploring first. Have I already been up here? I guess not. This, though, is just like that video, then, ah, oh, which is the right way? I don't know, guys. <laughs> Old, I don't want to miss out on anything. Old texts are scattered on and around the reading desk. They're all damaged from moisture. I can't make out any of the writing. That's unfortunate. This simply made set of shelves is crammed with accessory cases. They appear to be filled with old-fashioned writing implements. Okay. I can see the water on the first floor through the hole in the floor. Okay, I do remember this from the video, actually. Okay, this is... I feel like this is almost certainly the way to go. So naturally, we're going to go back the other way. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You guys have to deal with me and my completionist tendencies and, and neuroticism regarding collectibles and missing, missing out on content. This is, this is video game FOMO right here. It is exploring every dead end because you don't think it's 
going to progress the story because you're afraid of missing out on it should you actually progress the story. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has this intense video game FOMO. Keiji Watarai lost in thought. What's this over here? Pro strats. Folklorist notes to you. All right, we didn't miss it. <laughs> there was an old notebook lying on the stack of books. It's written in elegant handwriting. I saw the silhouette of a shrine maiden from within the mist that envelops the mountain. With great care, she made her way slowly up the mountain. Something about her seemed somehow unnatural. I've been told there are no more shrine maidens on the mountain now. Long ago, many maidens were murdered here. Perhaps they returned to the water? Would that then imply that they are trapped within the mist? Ooh, I hadn't made that connection, but that is a really neat thing. This mist that pervades the entirety of this forest, right? This whole environment. So we can go through that door, potentially. Or... Is there a door over here as well? There is. Alright, so let's take a look at this then first. Folklorist's Notes 5. The notebook on this desk has no dust on it. It's as if someone was just writing in it. It is said that human sacrifice was once practiced throughout this region. Rather than returning people to the water upon death, the ritual involved placing so-called pillars in special reliquaries and sending them to the water while still alive. What? The ritual involved placing so-called pillars in special reliquaries and sending them to the water while still alive? And drowning them? Those reliquaries are those big boxes we've seen all over the place. And we just read that the, I think it was the maidens, would become pillars, right? It was the role of the shrine maidens to become such pillars. They would take on the memories of the dying and thereafter return to water themselves. In doing so, it was believed the subjects would continue living on as pillars. In Japan, there was once a sect of Buddhist monks who would enter, who would enter themselves in boxes buried underground for the sake of enlightenment. These monks were said to show they were still alive by ringing bells and chanting. This practice may be related, but what did the maidens who became pillars fear or hope to appease? There are various teachings in Japan about where the afterlife, also known as the netherworld or the hereafter, is located. Some teachings say it is above the mountains or across the sea, where others claim it lies underground within the very earth itself. Here on the mountain it is said to lie within the water, implying a close link between water and death. The pillars within the reliquaries would be in a place close to death, but would go on living. Perhaps it was the special reliquaries that allowed them to evade death and continue living, frozen in time. It is thought that perpetuating these pillars allowed those close to death to live longer lives. In a sense, it was believed that proximity to death helped develop a resistance to it. Hmm, those last couple pages are a little bit confusing to me, admittedly. KG's cassette one. Huh. Yeah? You got something to say to me? <laughs> I'm all ears. Alright, I guess not. Let's listen to that cassette. pretty interesting. Alright, let's see if we can go this way. The lock is broken, I can't open the door. Alright, looks like we only have one choice. That, that statue, I don't like it. 
Oh, and then this is the ladder, isn't it? I swear there's like film down here, right? Yeah, I want to pick it up. Can I not? There we go. <laughs> A nice type 14 film. Anything else of interest? Doesn't seem so. The ladder leads up the attic, just like in the last part of the video. Do I want to look? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Or do I want to go up the other way first? I don't know. Am I going to miss out on stuff? Hmm. What do you guys think? I'm tempted to go all the way back. Nah, I should just go up. They're gonna give me time to explore at the end of the chapter anyways. Here we go. Potentially battle time. The ghost left a notebook behind when it disappeared. Folklorists note 6. This looks like a notebook of the folklorists. Could that ghost just now have been... Mount Hikami seems to have been both revered and feared as a mount of, mount of death, where only those who prefer to die may enter, and those who visited were never allowed to leave. Visitors to the mountain had to pass through the shrine grove at the foot of the mountain, where shrine maidens kept strict watch and allowing only the qualified, that is, the dying, to enter. Today the shrine at this grove has been rebuilt as an inn, whose innkeeper kindly let me borrow records of the time period. The records from the shrine's final years list one individual who was able to leave the mountain alive. Kunihiko Aso. After taking his post-mortem photographs, it seems he was invited to the mountain to photograph the maidens. I have heard his research into the hereafter allowed him to develop a special camera. If I could see these photos of the shrine maidens taken with this special camera, I'm certain I could come closer to unraveling the mysteries of Mount Hikami. When invited to the mountain, it is said he was allowed into a house visited only by a select few individuals. If I were invited to the mountain, would I be able to reach this place too? I truly wish I could. Kunihiko Aso. Was Dr. Aso somehow involved in this? Mist is pouring into the room. That's not a good sign. I should get out of here. Oh man, there's tons of mist. So apparently we should head down and, and try to get out of here. The mist, obviously, we've learned is tied to death. Actually, I wonder if I can open that door now. Realistically, I know that the game is telling me I should not dilly-dally, but gotta explore. Gotta figure out what's going on. Gotta get all these notes. Gotta find all these ghosts. But yeah, the mist is strong. And so clearly Keiji Watarai got close to uncovering the secrets of Mount Hikami, right? And that's why, again, that this whole house, which holds all of these records, was... The door's being held shut. Uh-oh. Was forcibly vanished, I guess? Or... Oh boy! My favorite. Is that supposed to be KG? I would bet that it is. Aw, oh, man. I think I dodged. Okay. That was an aggressive attack. It's a very limber ghost. Like, all of a sudden, just kind of, like, bends forward. Okay. Do we strats? I don't know if that actually, like, increases my damage output. I think it does when I have more circles. But, we'll see. I want to go probably like this-ish, I guess. Let's see. And here comes the pounce. Darn it, I'm dead. Oh man, okay, so I got hit by that, notably. The first thing I'm gonna do is heal up a little bit. 
I thought I hit X to dodge. I'm still not super comfortable with that process. And I've been inflicted with some sort of status. I don't know exactly what it is. Whatever it is, it ain't working out very well, though. I don't think it's... Hmm... I don't think it's, like, with regards to water. What it, What is my status? You can see the icon in the lower right. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't know what it is. But holy cow! Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. It's doing a ton of damage. So we're gonna try using the purifying embers. Alright, and that did the trick. So I'll use another herbal medicine in the meantime. I, um, what's it called? I thought that I had my healing shot and I accidentally hit square and that didn't end up doing a whole lot to help me out. Did it, obviously. Okay. Ah, uh, if only I could use my Udui strats right now. Are you attacking me or what? Nice, fatal frame time. We're pretty up close, too, so we should be getting some pretty big damage from this. And we're back. So we got four in there. We should be able to get a shutter chance now, I believe. Are you dead, or what? I don't really know what's going on here. very confused by this. Am I supposed to be, like, fatal glancing, or what? Okay, it seems so. <laughs> I was like, what? Three points, I guess. Yikes. Folklorist Note 7. On the way to the summit, I found a photo on a small path lined with spider lilies. The path seemed to head into the forest, but it was become but has become overgrown and is unpassable. Could it lead to that mansion that only the invited can find? It is different from other postmortem photographs. It can only describe I can only describe it as being beautiful. It had a beauty and a sadness unlike the others I've seen. Was she alive? As soon as I thought how beautiful she was, I was bound. I heard whispers of love from the photograph. They were the words of a curse. Love after death. I must go to that place. My heart has been captivated. There was a cassette tape. Okay, was that one of Keiji Watarai's memories? I have to get out of here. Yes, you do. Um, where are we? This is where that monster came from. Anything else of interest in here? No, I don't think so. So we can keep going down this way. Real quick check on my health. I think we're doing okay. And now we'll take a look at that cassette, hopefully. Unfortunately, I had to use the purifying embers in addition to some extra, what's it called, herbal medicines. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dang, that's, that's dark. It's also interesting that Keiji Watarai, even as he approached his own death, essentially maintained the insight to know that he was being drawn to his own death, right? Could we not open this door before? I don't think we could. Okay. Ghost? Yep. Oh, it's our friend! I missed you! Oh man, he is really swinging. There we go. What? Okay. Um, I thought I was thought I got him swinging, but I guess not. So I'll take a picture of him here. Hopefully, get some spirit remnants going. It's our friend again. I didn't realize we'd be seeing him again. Or attempting to see him. Man, this mist it makes it pretty difficult. What the heck? How did that just happen? What was that? Whoa, okay, so... Something is going on with the motion controls right now, and it's... Not very helpful. Oh, I think I missed out on my shutter chance. The motion controls are not, not doing it right now. Oh man, that's really poor timing. One more. Shutter change at least. Yeah, look at that, I'm not even moving the controller. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Is there like a way I can calibrate this or? Lens camera. Can I upgrade the sensor for the motion sensor in my controller? This is not a... Uh... Alright, hopefully that recalibrates it or something. I don't know, by exiting and coming back in. Uh-oh. I see you, but I don't see you. I wanted to get my shutter chance. There we go. Wait, no, that wasn't it? Aw, oh, man. The, the window must have moved a little bit. Yeah, I for what it's worth, guys, I am not rotating this. Do you see that? Okay. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I am so sorry that you guys are experiencing this as well. Because this is not at all what I'm trying to do. And second slice. Alright. There we go. Fatal frame. Just trying to take advantage of the lock-on feature as much. I'm not even rotating the controller or the right analog stick. Just gonna try and utilize this lock-on feature as much as I can. I don't think it's just like part of the fight either. The whole, um, what the heck? Yeah, my, my controller is just not doing so hot right now. Clearly. If this is normal to some extent, this sort of... automatic rotation that's happening and, and that sort of thing, whether it's like an effect of... The, the mist or something, please let me know so I don't like drive myself up a wall trying to calibrate my controller and stuff like that, but but yeah, this this ain't it. <laughs> it is otherwise a cool battle, I guess. 
you go? Oh, you're over there. Aw, oh, man, I tried to use my Arui strats. I... Is he turning me around? Did I get the Fatal Frame? No. I can't keep this camera steady for the life of me. Did we beat him? I think so. Oh, nope, I ran right into an attack. What the? Yeah, no, I feel the exact same way. You doing okay, Dewey? I hope so, because that... That was, an, that was an experience. The study window has been broken, and I can see the hallway on the other side. The two hanging scrolls have been hung in the alcove. They feature seasonal plants such as cherry blossoms and maple leaves. When the combat works, it works well, and I enjoy it. But sometimes... It... It definitely doesn't. <laughs> the wooden shutter to the porch has come loose and I can see outside. There's nothing but thick forest. I can't get out this way. Do I want to go to the left or to the right? The left seems to be my way out, actually. So let's naturally go to the right. Let's see what we can find over here. This... Oh, I think we actually... Yeah, we tried exploring this way at the beginning of the episode. So let's go on over here. And now... Wait, I thought the phone was at the end of this hallway. Or was it not? Oh, boy. A box. Just what I was looking for. Lovely. So we'll do this to hopefully get some spirit remnants going. Okay. Did I get it? Nope. Okay. Nice. Fatal frame. Although, really short fatal frame. And, nice, Fatal Frame. I can only get, like, two shots in during that Fatal Frame, though. It's not ideal, honestly. And, you gonna come swiping at me? Oops, I can't back up much more for some reason. I think I'm on the box or whatever. Aw, oh, man, I didn't get the... There we go. What am I stuck on? Did I get it? Nope. I don't know if I successfully dodged or not, but... Okay. I'm in the water, which is probably not the best for this fight, but... Okay, it was kind of all I really had to work with. We'll head this way again. I think you're hidden in that other room. Okay. Can bring in the the Louis strats again. Yeah, there was no way. I was just like way too close there. I can go over here. Oh man, you are very close to me. Want to swoop in or what? At least my controller, or whatever the window, isn't, like, freaking out like last time. That was pretty rough. But then it's, like, here, and I just, like, for some reason, I get stuck on, like, the, the lips of walls or, or something. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like my movement is just so restricted in this area. Like, what am I... I know there's the box in the middle, but... Oh, man. This is a. Uh, this has been a rough episode, combat-wise. Of course, now you're gonna attack. Ooh, that was a good fatal frame. Especially because we're so close, could do so much damage. Did we beat it. I think so. Let's get the fatal glance and get out of here.
That's so creepy. Okay. We'll head up here because I don't think I finished exploring this area to my heart's content. Oh no! The the jar broke. The lock is broken, I can't open the door. Okay. Now I finally feel okay heading out. Sorry for keeping you around, Louie. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It's something about, like, the movement in this area, getting caught on little, like, lips of things or whatever. I don't know. But that was... <laughs> that's two battles now that have just not been pleasant experiences. And just like that, it vanishes. Where is this? Is this just where it was, or...? I don't know. I was gonna say, if he is, he probably met a similar fate, unfortunately. Leading me that way with the traces. Interesting. I might as well use the cable car, huh? Oh, so they they want me to like go into the station somehow? Can I cut over? Can I get there from up here? Ah, here we go. That's what I missed. <laughs> Might as well use the cable car. Yeah, like this cable car has been used any time in the past 20 years. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> That's a hazard. Okay... Forest Station is written on the rusted sign. Alright, I guess uh, we'll give it a go. Ren and Nui set out to find the folklorist's house, relying on clues from a video recording. As they passed through the Shrine of Dolls, the white-haired girl from Ren's dreams appeared. She asked why he didn't bring her token, then vanished. Ren and Dewey arrived at the Veiled House, where they discovered several of Keiji Watarai's writings on the customs and beliefs surrounding Narikami. They escaped the house only to see it vanish in a thick veil of mist. So we got an S rank, luckily. <laughs> Very luckily. Because <laughs> that was not an optimal playthrough, no doubt. There are a couple of ghosts we missed, and overall, I, I like the story of that chapter, right? The cutscenes. The story, learning about Keiji Watarai, the practice of the pillars and the boxes, and we're, we're slowly but surely piecing together the puzzle, right, of just what is happening, or rather what has happened and is consequently now happening on Mount Hikami. I've already expressed, and it was very apparent during those battles, that some of those battles were just not it. <laughs> I really didn't enjoy them, honestly, um, which is pretty unfortunate. But... It was not 
the end of the world, I guess, but I, I don't know if it was partially the battle, partially my PS4 controller. I'm not sure, but the, the combat when it's good is really good for sure, but let me see what I can do. General settings, operation mode, camera controls. All right, we're just going to switch this to the right stick only. And what else do I want to do? Camera sensitivity. So I'm actually going to bump up the photo mode. Is it search mode? I'm going to bump up the sensitivity quite a bit. Because I find that I, I'm trying to go after ghosts and spin around and stuff. And just having a little bit of a difficult time, you know, moving around as quickly as I'd like. So, probably just going to bump these up a little bit and see how it goes. It's a little bit unfortunate you can't actually do this during the game. But, nevertheless... We are coming up on the sixth drop, which is where we play again as Yuri Kozukata, and we're trying to find Miyu Hinasaki. That's the character we played as in the prologue, right? Yeah, that's exciting. So I'm excited to try and find Miyu, see what happens when Yuri meets up with her, and then hopefully we get more of her aspect of the story. Hopefully she's alive. Didn't seem like she met a very fun fate at the end of that first, uh, the, the first drop, right? The first prologue. Um, so we'll, we'll see, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it had its rough patches, but overall I'm still enjoying the game and I hope you guys are too. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.